says the bill is in a circle. Senator Fillmore. Thank you. Uh, Mr. President, I can't see up above my left here. Are there, on the right, the gallery looks kind of empty. I wonder if there are some education folks over on this side of the... I'm trying to, there are some people up there. I can't see for the right. rail who's there, but... Uh, Fair enough. Go ahead. Some people hope to be here. I hope they made it. So, so Mr. President, uh, I am thrilled to be able to present this year's public education budget. Um, I wish the gallery was fuller and that we had rules that allowed for applause because I think we would, would get some for the body. We've got uh, just a tremendous public education budget for you today. I want to talk to you about what this bill will do. And when I talk about it, I'm talking about this in combination with legislation that we passed earlier, including the base budget, so that I'll be presenting these numbers in total for this generational investment that we're making in public education this year. <clears throat> With what is in this bill and in the base budget, this uh, is a 6% increase on the weighted pupil unit. Keep that number in mind. We're going to do some addition because uh, this is an education bill. So we'll just do what when I was a teacher we called computer math. This is really simple computer math. Just do it in your head as we go. 6% on the WPU. An additional $230 million, or about 5% on the WPU that is going straight to teacher compensation. An additional 1% on the WPU that is going to uh, student equity and the at-risk student add-on. And another 1% of the WPU that is going to fund for the first time universal all-day kindergarten in the state. That is a total of a 13% ongoing increase to the value of the weighted pupil unit. That's just the ongoing money. Now let me go to our one-time money. We've got about 2% of the WPU that is dedicated to capital and security enhancements. Another 2% of the WPU that's targeted specifically at rural schools to help them with specific needs related to efficiency, small district size, and, uh, uh, and uh, safety and security upgrades in rural schools where the need is greater. And an additional 1.5% on the WPU that's going to teacher preparation and development. So that's an additional 5.5%. When you add those two together, above the current year baseline, we are making an 18.5% increase on the WPU for so, public schools. So repeat that again. I didn't an quite hear. There we go. Thank you. An 18.5% WPU increase in, uh, in, in almost exclusively unrestricted dollars to schools. Almost 20 uh, percent. Yeah, I, I, and, and that doesn't include some of the other stuff that goes to fund this program or this one. There's about a half a WPU that's going to fund teen centers for the homeless. I don't even include that in this total. These are just unrestricted dollars. Schools, here you go. It's to address your needs. 18 and a half percent. I don't think that's ever been done in the history of the state before. We are also making a generational investment with $127 million in addition to the permanent school trust that will generate millions of ongoing dollars uh, permanently for the future for our schools every year. And we are also providing unprecedented flexibility for local districts, more unrestricted dollars than they have ever had. I will be happy to answer questions. Senator Fillmore, thank you for that presentation. I think you've impressed everyone so much that there's no questions at all. Just I, I can see a bunch of smiles. So thank you. Uh, Do you think I you need for, to call the Senate? Or, or I think sure we have a I think you're okay with this right. bill without a call of the Senate. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead back to you for summation and a motion. Thank you so much, Mr. President. It is with great pleasure and pride uh, on behalf of the Public Education Appropriations Committee and the entire state legislature that I move that House Bill Two pass. Thank you. And the question is. Under suspension of the rules, shall House Bill 2 pass? Roll call vote. Senators Anderick, Bluen, Bramble, Buxton, Senator Buxton, Cullimore, Escamilla, Fillmore, Grover, Harper, Hinkins, Ibsen, Johnson, Kennedy, Kwan, McKay, McKell, Milner, Owens, Pitcher, Plum, Reby, Sandal, Stevenson, Thatcher, Vickers, Senator Vickers, Weiler, Wilson, Winterton, President Adams. Aye.